A Sunday, the life of 17-year-old Ebony Ferris was taken after a senseless shooting, and that death left a community and a well-known community activist heartbroken. Tonight, Clemmy Greenlee spoke to me about the loss of her niece and how her mission to make positive changes in the community surrounding gun violence, how it means more now than ever before. What were your emotions when you first heard about the death of Ebony? It took me back to the murder of my own son. Once again, death has rocked Clemmy Greenlee's family. For a woman who is known for comforting other families through the darkness of gun violence, Sunday's shooting that killed her 17-year-old niece has left permanent scars of sadness and regret. For me to go help everybody else's child, for me to always on TV and in and, and, and cameras and in cars with 19 kids, 12 to 16, and my niece is the same age, and I wasn't there. It's going to bother me. As the founder of Mothers Over Murder, Greenlee has attended countless vigils and at least 10 funerals for kids who have been victims of gun violence just this year. Unfortunately, those numbers are expected to grow. I can't say this the same feeling that I have with them. This is a deeper hurt feeling now because of it being my blood. As always, Greenlee doesn't blame the parents for the violence or the streets. She points the finger at the weapons that were pointed at these kids. If this gun that was in this young man's hand wasn't easily gotten off the street, my niece wouldn't be dead. Greenlee tells me right now the family is focused on laying Ebonique to rest. Healing is days, months, or even years away. But in the near future, Greenlee says the fight to end gun violence will continue because fighting is all she knows how to do. This do make me step it up another step to say that my family got hit, my family might get hit again, but I'm going to try my best to do exactly what I've been doing for other families trying to find another way to get around it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm definitely going deeper. Greenlee is as strong as they come, but she says this funeral will test that strength. Prayer, family, and the mothers in her group have surrounded her with love. As for the suspect in this case, he is expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow. Mm.